I've picked up a few words I, I can do like Makasiya, Sama Sama and another one of my favourites is Chantik Pangat. Yeah, that's I, right. I tried to teach Ollie some words as we yeah. go along though I. Matt, Matt is the master actually. I know, I know a little bit more than I'm willing to, to allow people to know. <laughs> I was really impressed with this when um, we took a taxi home one evening and the taxi driver you know was, it was on a meter and um, literally my hotel is maybe one minute from Matt's hotel and I think the fee like he like the guy was like okay now I take it off the meter and take you to your hotel and it's gonna cost like whatever Double. Like, um, yeah like some ridiculous yeah. amount and Matt managed to like have a go at the taxi driver and sort of put him in his place in Indonesian, which was, I think, incredibly impressive. Because obviously, you know, as Bule here, you know, people might look at us and, and think that they can kind of uh, get away with little things here and there. And, and sometimes, you know, it's important because, you know, it's, it's like our safety as well. And this guy was uh, looking to kind of charge a lot more. And um, I basically just said to Mas, Mas, yeah, dia, 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 torista. Saya, uh, saya o on, yeah? Kamu o on. Yeah. And he, and he was very, very surprised. Like, I didn't think that he thought we could speak any of the language. And, and he was really angry at me, actually. Like, yeah. every dirty looks. <laughs> Visiting, like, uh, drugs rehabilitation centers. Um, being so shocked that the majority of the people there were children. You know, from that, um, I wrote an article on Facebook which uh, went viral and the, the hashtag that I used, uh, love Indonesia, hate drugs, um, then sort of started trending worldwide. It's very difficult when you're addicted to something because it's kind of like this idea in your mind that you know, to, to stop doing that thing is going to make it harder. And often, you know, you get terrible withdrawals, which makes the whole problem even like harder to accept. It's even really important to be surrounded by people that can understand what you're going through, you know, so you're not alone. Um, and just to try and seek out the help and be honest with yourself. I think it takes a lot of people to come to terms with the fact that they're an addict, you know. You know, kids like as young as like seven are getting um, sweets, given sweets with like heroin and stuff in them. And, and you know, it's really about empowering them to um, do the most powerful thing. It's like prevention as opposed to like treating somebody who's already addicted. It's like a psychology test. <laughs> is it a one word answer yeah, or is it? <laughs> is it like when you find out that we have serious issues? Yeah. Really? Merdeka. Don't do them. Try not to get ripped off. Bluebird safe. Honourable. Yummy. Enak. Aki. Batu. Bang, bang, bang. Ha <laughs>